Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna try and talk a little bit about um, taking the Hadoop a little, you know, a step further. Last time we uh, looked at Hadoop, and we said um, in the first video, we said let's, um, you know, run Hadoop standalone, and then um, using a dictionary, I, I uh, tried um, sending in a Hadoop command to just do a grep on the file. And there's many commands like word count and and all those, but in this video specifically the second video we're going to take it a step further, and we're going to um, import a Vermillion Song database or or <laughs> not the whole thing because my machine wouldn't hold that uh, um, uh, just like ten thousand random songs. We'll import that into the uh, uh, system, and uh, I'll, I'll tell a little bit about the Million Song database or data set in a second. And then we'll um, let um, you know Pig, uh, which is an um, uh, 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 application on on um, Hadoop, try and um, you know do some queries against that, and and see if we can get some basic analytics from a from my single node Hadoop cluster over here. So uh, first step is the million song data set. So again, here's the uh, Vermillion Song dataset. It's a freely available thing, and it really contains a million songs, of which we'll just do a subset, like 10,000 of them. But um, you know, it contains data like the sample rate, and you know, the uh, uh, um, name, and of course the artist, that kind of thing, duration, key, loudness. There's just so much information around this. Um, you know, um, it's 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 a it's a lot of information about every track. So um, you basically download these files from the site, and um, you kind of end up with a um, a little uh, 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 um, thing and and um, uh, you know some data. And, and here I have it. Um, I'm running this on a little Ubuntu virtual machine. So. Um, it, the files are written in this a, uh, HFS uh, FI format. So if you go look at the files, and I only have A and B here, uh, so A, there's A, there's A. If you go there, you'll see that that's what the files look like. Um, if you were to try and look at a file like that, it's just a binary file. I mean, you can't, you can't really see much from it. So... Um, so and that's why you have to have a little uh, a script here, and it's it's a Python script, and um, uh, and um, it's you know I downloaded this from the internet as well, and this is the data grabber. So I'm going to try and export the data of uh, metadata. So it's uh, you execute it by running Python metadata underscore datagrabber.py it basically is going to go to each one of those h5 files and start extracting the data of the metadata you can run the, the full extract as well um, I'm going to stop that but what it creates then is this file uh, um, it, uh, data dot csv and there you have it in this case you know don't let it pull you down uh, that's obviously the song. Um, Newfound Glory is the is the artist. That's the album that it comes on. Uh, Colorado Springs. You know, uh, it's just so the year is in year. There's just so much information. If you, uh, you know, just just look. Uh, it's just ten thousand songs like this. Okay, but it exports. So that's that data. Okay, so back in Hadoop, I'm going to format myself a uh, file system again. Let's create the file system. I am then going to um, quickly start all my uh, <coughs> uh, Hadoop cluster over here. And uh, once that's started, I'm going to um, go in and see that it's available. I can see that I have a live node, number one. 
Um, if I try and browse the file system, let me see if there's nothing in there at the moment. So um, I will then uh, load my command to uh, import my data. I'm going to import this from my disk, uh, million data, metadata, uh, uh, 10,000 dot CSV, and I will be importing that now. And of course, if I can go back into my um, Hadoop file system, we'll see that there's user, and there's the file. It's been imported into Hadoop. Okay, so the next step is really to do with PIG. Um, I installed PIG um, in a, a, a folder over here. Um, I had to run build on it. It really is uh, um, pretty easy. Uh, um, it installs, and then you execute the pig command really by um, running something like um, this. So from my Hadoop folder, I'm just going to execute a uh, bin pig command. Um, but I had to set my Hadoop home variable, and um, that was pretty easy. I just exported Hadoop home. And okay, so now that we have the file in there, we can see it. We can start um, throwing some queries at it. So from a um, a uh, pig perspective, copy this uh, pig script that I created, and it basically shows all the data. So I'm say load this metadata CSV 10,000 CSV file and it's separated by a commas and then breaking every little piece the title as a car array, car array the album as a car array the artist the duration you know so there's a little thing for each and every one of the the, the, the pieces of information that's in there okay, so that's the first thing and now the next thing is I'm going to um, execute a, now that I have you'll see that it assigns it a variable and pick so we're saying songs equals. So the next uh, thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say, well, let's uh, take uh, uh, filtered songs equals filter the songs by the year. So you know, basically select everything where the year is 1986. So I do that, and then I say um, generate for me a um, a, um, uh, the, ne the next query would really be say, well, selected song, uh, so, uh, uh, you know, now I'm going to say, take that filtered song and generate for me something that says, year, title, well, let's go to artist, comma, um, album, comma, year, something like that. Let's generate that. That's our selected songs. And then I'm going to say, well, now um, uh, uh, store the selected songs for me in a um, in a folder. Like um, year 1986 song. So that's the point where the actual job now begins when I ask for the store. So again, if we go into our um, our um, uh, um, Hadoop over here, our Hadoop uh, console, or our job tracker, we will see that you know um, there's some stuff happening there. So on 50, 30, that's where the job tracker is, and we can see there's a job that ran. Um, it is um, a normal priority job. We can see that um, it will complete it successful. Again, there's the data written, all of that kind of information about the job. We can see that the job is also complete. Well, you know, um, we can uh, uh, do, of course, uh, various other things, like um, we can create a CSV file, for instance. Um, CSV, so we can say, hey, you know, store this for me, selected songs um, inside a dupe, and I'm going to submit this job again, and this time I'm saying store it into this um, 
CSV and use uh, the, 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 the schema um, and uh, I'm sorry and there it goes again if we look at the job tracker we will now notice that um, there is a uh, new job um, that's being scheduled here that should now be uh, running um, as soon as this catches up there's job number two it's busy running um, it's complete and we can see that um, you know it's doing some stuff and it's done so um, exiting uh, um, here oh you, you know what looking at uh, at it inside pig of course you can do something like um, just a LSOV and there we can see there's my CSV output there's the folder I created with a 1986 and here's the metadata of the original original file so um, if I then exit here and now I'm gonna try and see what that data looks like so um, let's see um, okay cutting the CSV output file I'm gonna look at it and there it is we can see there's a whole bunch of stuff now you know um, I asked for the for the for the album the artist the song that kind of information you know we can see um, it's all in here this for instance uh, Lionel Richie dancing on the ceiling 1986 these are all 1986 songs I mean I can do that and I can sort of pipe down to grab I don't know um, and um, in this case there we go we can get tonight so right line line or reaching 1986 so that's the basic um, running a uh, Hadoop importing oh well uh, um, exporting the data from uh, from a million dollar no have <laughs> a million song database uh, how to work with that H5 uh, uh, um, file system exporting that into a CSV file importing it into my single node Hadoop cluster um, and doing a pig query on it so um, that is um, the end of the second video thank you